This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 23. How about new? It shuts down the run and pass. Gets instant sacks. <laughs> and takeaways all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, got he. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Today I will once again be using the Pittsburgh Steelers offense and my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook, as this has been my favorite defense to use for probably the last two Maddens. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I'm going to be using another top requested team in the Cleveland Browns today, so as always, make sure to cast your vote in the comment section for what team you'd like to see me use next. As the Raiders and the Vikings are at the top of my list. As far as my depth chart goes, I really just go for speed at receiver, so I put Anthony Schwartz at wide receiver 2 and Jakeem Grant at wide receiver 3. Since I'm going to be running a defense with a lot of blitzing linebackers today, I will also use a lot of speed there, so I will put Deion Jones on the outside since he has a 90 speed and will really get after the quarterback fast. I start the game out on offense by using the gun trio scheme that I put out just yesterday, but this is a defensive video, so if you guys want to see more about this offense from that video, I will once again have a link in the description and on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that my opponent runs a lot of cover one man so after getting a big first down to my tight end i try to take a shot on the next play but watson just barely overthrows him costing me an easy touchdown oh he almost had it as i get sacked for a big loss in second down that i can't recover from what and i have to punt away on defense i've recently gone back to what was probably my favorite defense to use from madden 22 in the 4-3 even 6-1 in last year's madden though the best coverage was cover two zone but that coverage isn't even an option this year as they completely removed it from this formation. Cover 2 isn't really a, the best defense this year anyway, but it did allow me to set up a really good blitz while also maintaining zone coverages to everything outside. The closest coverage that I found in this year's man that allows me to do this still is the Sand Blitz 3, which is probably a much better coverage than Cover 2 zone anyway, and also allows me to set up a really fast blitz. Don't get this confused with the Cover 3 buzz though, as it does not work the same. Trash! If I want to go full all-out blitz, all I have to do is pinch the defense of line by hitting the d-pad to the left and down then slant them outside by hitting the d-pad to the left and up on the right stick then you can blitz all linebackers by hitting d-pad to the right and down and if you really want the pressure to get in fast you can also guess pass by hitting the rb or the r1 button and up on the right stick and the blitzing linebackers will go right after the quarterback this will leave you vulnerable to underneath throws so i don't run this particular setup very often like it would have in cover two zone as he gets the first down the first play he tries to hurry me up on the next play so i change to a simple hard flat just in case he tries to do that again Pinch the defensive line and spread them before jumping into the gap over the center post snap to get the blitzing outside linebacker in free for an instant sack for a nine yard loss. The best coaching adjustment for this defense is to set your zone flats to match as this is technically a cover three match. Then I will also set my hard flats to five for when I decide to hard flat. I also put my cornerbacks to play ball in the air for more interceptions and I make sure to match my cornerbacks by depth chart so I have my best cornerback on their best receiver. On the next play, I start to play out wide to match the three wide receivers so the blitz isn't as effective as he almost gets the first down. So on the next play, I make an adjustment by putting my user on a blitz and starting to play in tight towards the left tackle. Since I am closer to the line of scrimmage than the actual blitzing linebacker, this will shift the line's attention to me first before I drop back, allowing the real blitzing linebacker to get him free once again. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. He decides to go for it on fourth down because no one punts in Madden apparently. So I do the exact same setup and the pressure forces a quick throw that I am all over. On offense though, I get a good run to start the drive and get in the field goal range, but after that, I can't get much as I get pushed back on the next play before I get just enough back for a field goal attempt. I make the field goal, but I don't know what's going on with my kicker as, as I tried to do the typical fullback kick, but either the wind or accuracy of this kicker wasn't allowing me to do this, and this was a problem throughout the game. My opponent starts to find some areas that he can attack on defense as he hits me over the middle for a big play to start the drive before I go back underneath on the next play, as I don't always hard flat. I do on the next play, and this time nothing is open as he has to throw it away. On the next play, the pressure flushes Allen again, but Allen takes off and almost gets the first down. 
He runs the inside zone for the first time on the next play, and now that he is close to the red zone, I decide to set up my audible plays. I suspect he is going to start running the ball more, so I make sure to have my best run defense in my cover four quarters in my audibles. I also want to throw a different defense at him with the same look so that I don't get too predictable. So I like to have cover one man as it looks the same pre-snap, but will cover the receivers a lot tighter. The only difference is I really can't do a blitz from either two of these looks. On the next play, he does run it again, so now I'm going to switch over to cover four match to stop that. Cover 4 is also a much better defense for red zone situations like this as the matching coverage works really well in tight spaces. To set this defense up, you really just do all the same things as the main defense, only this time you want to make sure that these safeties are close to the line of scrimmage since they act like extra linebackers against the run. So I can either walk them down manually or base the line, show blitz, and then base the line again. I also like the hard flat here since I am close to the goal line, and on the next play nothing is open as he tries to force in the coverage. Gotcha, bitch. I get the ball back with plenty of time and I decide to try a brand new offense that I'm hoping to bring you guys in an upcoming video out of the gun tight doubles. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more. I get the first down on a simple drag before he starts to slow me down enough that he starts calling his timeouts thinking he will get the ball back soon. On third down, I go back to my original offense to get a wide open receiver for the first down and get into field goal range. I don't get much more than that though as I have to settle for a field goal attempt only for the kicker's accuracy to continue to be an issue. Maybe I didn't hit it right but my accuracy was dead on. Perfect. My opponent only has 16 seconds left, but for some reason on the next play, a simple motion glitches out my cover corners, allowing him to get his biggest play of the game so far. What the hell was that? And now I need to make a play. On the next play, the coverage is there before he tries to roll out once again in the threat and the half. The second half doesn't start out well though as we get instant pressure but Josh Allen is a playmaker as he throws a complete dot while running backwards with pressure in his face. On the next play he connects with Diggs over the middle again and now he is in business. I switch over to cover one man for tighter coverage and he decides to take off before we get a diving tackle for the stop. Sit your ass down. On the next play the pressure forces him out again as he throws it away before he spreads me out on third down. So I switch to man cover one once again Nope. and we get the stop to force a short field goal attempt. So I switch offenses once again and go back to the gun tight doubles to call the shot fade cross which is a play that I just put out in my most recent glitch routes video as this route gets open against just about any defense. I will once again have a link in the description at the end of the video if you guys want to see more from that. Let's go! As I will use several plays and routes from that video in this gameplay alone including the next one that I probably threw too early as I throw an interception. Oops! My opponent goes back to running the ball so on the next play I switch to the cover four and we get the stop easily as this is a much better run defense. He spreads me out again on the next play and I should probably match with more cornerbacks but the blitz is more effective Woo! and I don't want to leave it. He does it again on the next play and I was right there just a hair away from making a play on the ball before he hurries me up and attacks the seams for the first time in this game. He runs the ball on the next play so I switch back to cover four and nothing is open as we almost get a sack. I switch back to the cover on the next play and the coverage is tight but he had just better than me and gets the first. He then hurries me up once once again and I make a bad adjustment where I accidentally blitz the linebacker in front of Diggs. So instead of calling a timeout I just man him to Diggs instead and that doesn't work at all as I give up my first touchdown of the game. Damn it! Which took all the way into the fourth quarter to get. Back on offense I switch offenses completely one more time to the gun empty wide flex which is another offense that I plan on bringing you guys. But I haven't fully labbed it yet. Luckily it is very similar to the gun stack wide flex offense that I've been running all year from the Saints. It has a QB draw play though that I put to full use every time he comes out in a spread defense to match. As I run the ball on the first two plays before hitting the tight end for another first on the next play. I try to set up the one play touchdown on the next play but he leaves the middle of the field wide open for the big play before I run a simple double drag on the next play with a slow tight end that I still can't believe I didn't get tackled as he felt like he was instantly out of stamina the second I caught the ball. I try to fullback kick once again, but I still don't know what's going on here, as I think it must be the wind at this point. With 46 seconds left, he continues to spread me out, but I'm going to stay in this defense because it has worked so far. He gets a big catch in the flats, but I save the first down by a few inches, and on the next play, I switch to cover one man and shut down all of his options as he has to throw it away to fourth, a critical fourth and in inches that could decide the game. I use the cover one man defense one more time as it has covered much tighter. How about new? But we are going to overtime. I don't win the coin toss, but I finally see that the win says zero, so the win was never the issue as I try to kick to the fullback one more time, hit it perfectly, but somehow the ball goes flying out of bounds, and now my opponent is starting the ball at the 40 yard line in sudden death. Which team do you play for? He starts to drive off well, throwing it underneath my cover three before getting a good run, which makes me switch over to my cover four. Nothing gets open on the next play again, and Allen can't make a play this time with defenders in his face. I switch back to cover one man on second down. The coverage is perfect. 
No! On third down, we go back to the blitz, and Deion Jones is a man on a mission, as the blocking running back didn't even slow him down one bit, forcing an incomplete pass. And we can see that my opponents only completed less than half of his passes, with only 13 completions on 28 attempts, with one of the best offenses and best quarterbacks in the game. Now on fourth down, with the game on the line, we go back to the cover one man, as he tries to hit his best receiver. Gotcha, bitch! And now we go back to our empty offense. This is the only offense that we scored with today. I start by hitting a drag route on the run for the first down before hitting the tight end over the middle on the next play for another first down. I then play making my receiver up the field on the next play to get my third straight first down in a row, and we are moving. All that stops on the next two plays, though, as he gets me into a third and ten from just outside of field goal range. So needing a play and being on the sideline already, we go right back to the slot fade cross, as this play is a total cheat code. I can't tell if he's in cover three or cover one, but it doesn't matter, as this route is wide open again for a huge first down. I could kick it from here and win the game, but I don't trust this kicker at all, so I call an inside zone to punch it in. <laughs> And we went back-to-back -back games in thrilling fashion. So if that's, that's the vid, give this defense a try and let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I'll have links to them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.